year, the State Department started providing material assistance to a Saudi Arabia-led military coalition in the country of Yemen. Are you aware that numerous human rights groups, such as Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, as well as reporters on the ground, have documented numerous war crimes being committed by this Saudi Arabia-led military coalition? Uh, Congressman, I have seen references to that in the press, but if I might, not an attempt to avoid your question, because I would be glad to arrange for someone to, there are six undersecretaries at the State Department. I'm the undersecretary for management. Right. My writ is rather right. large, but it does not, right. it does I, not I, encompass yeah, political, I, military yeah. acti activities, I, foreign military assistance or I, others. I understand. And, I'll be and glad to as, work as a, with you, though. I understand. As, and as a, a member of the minority party, I do not get to set the agenda, but I have four State Department officials here, so I'm going to ask these questions. Are you aware uh, that Amnesty International published a report documenting at least 33 cases where the Saudi Arabia coalition, with the assistance of the United States, targeted and killed civilians, many of them nowhere near military targets? And you can just answer yes or no. I, I have not seen that report, okay, sir. Right. Uh, are you aware that just last month, the Saudi Arabia-led coalition targeted and killed a, uh, children at a school? There were 28 kids, 18 were injured, 10 were killed, some were as young as six, seven, eight years old. Are you aware of that? No, sir, I am not. Are you aware that the Saudi Arabia-led military coalition struck a fourth hospital facility last month, this time a Doctors Without Borders hospital? killing numerous patients, doctors, uh, and hospital staff. Are you aware of that? I think I may have seen that in the newspaper, right. sir. Uh, you would agree with me, wouldn't you, that uh, it is a war crime uh, if uh, you target and kill civilians uh, nowhere near military targets? I am not, I am not a lawyer, sir, but, but obviously the, tar the direct and the direct and targeting of, of, of civilians without, right. without any other uh, justification is certainly not, Thank not you. acceptable. Thank you. And you're aware that um, the United States is providing refueling of Saudi Arabia jets, logistical support, intelligence, and other assistance, correct? I am aware that we are assisting the Saudi Arabian right. to forces to combat uh, terrorist activities in Yemen, yes, and, sir. And the State Department has now proposed yet another sale of billions of dollars of arms and munitions to Saudi Arabia that the State Department noticed when Congress was in recess so that we would have very little time to act on it. Is that correct? I, I, am, I am not aware of that congressional notification, sir, but I do aware, aware that we work with the government of Saudi Arabia to, to right. help combat terrorism in the Middle East. Uh, combating terrorism is fine. Uh, using war crimes to do it is not fine. Uh, are you aware that uh, a person who aids and abets someone who is committing war crimes can also be guilty of war crimes? I No, sir. I am not a lawyer. Okay. Uh, so my recommendation is that you check with the lawyers of the State Department and you ask them the question, why is the State Department looking like it is aiding and abetting the commission of war crimes in Yemen? And with that, I yield back. I, I promise you, sir, that I will arrange for a, the appropriate senior official of the State Department to be in touch with you. And to Mr. Liu, I would Thank also you. to Mr. Liu, I'd also add that we have, for a couple months, been trying to get Secretary Kerry to come appear before this committee, sensitive to his schedule. But we're at the point where we may have to uh, step it up a notch. But it is the intention of the committee to have the Secretary come to answer. So hone those questions, and hopefully that'll happen in the next week or two. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, we'll now.